Alright, let's take the derivative of this integral. Right here, notice it's a definite integral because they're giving me the um, limits here, e and 6. So the first thing to do, this is going we're going to use u substitution again. So I have to pick out what I, I want my u to be. And this is sometimes the hardest part is to figure out what the u is. Now, I, I can see right here that I have 1 over x as part of that. So because I have 1 over x there, I'm going to let u be ln of x. Because I remember that the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. And, I, and so there is my 1 over x dx is right there. And so I can rewrite this integral now with my substitution as 1 over the natural log of x, which is my u. So it's 1 over u times du because in red is my du, and I'll change this to green. That is right there, which is in the denominator, so that's why I wrote it 1 over u. And so now I can take the integral of this, so from e to 6, of, so that's going to be like u, that equals the integral of u to the negative 1 du. So I do what? So the integral of that um, sorry, I shouldn't have written this. Got the answer right in front of me. Let's take the integral. What is the integral of 1 over u du? It's the ln of u. And that's going to be from 6 to e. And so uh, that little trick here, that 6 and that e were relating to the x. So I, I don't plug these in until I substitute that back. I substitute that back in. So this equals the ln of, change back to red so you can see what I did. Now I'm substituting u back in, the ln of the ln of x. Or natural, I shouldn't say ln, I should say natural log. From e to 6, which equals the natural log of the natural log of 6 minus the natural log of the natural log of e. And what's the natural log of e? 1. And what's the natural log of 1? 0. And so my answer is just the natural log of the natural log of 6.